In every crisis, children are the most vulnerable. Climate change is no exception. The consequences of such a crisis are an even bigger concern in poor countries like Uganda. And yet, no major measures are taken by the government to help its people. Forests are being cut down for the sake of sugarcane fields and factories, which pollute the air and the water, especially Lake Victoria, the world's second largest freshwater lake in the world, source of food for millions and millions of people. With the decrease in rainfall and desertification of lands, crops don't grow as they used to, and families can't afford school fees and enough food for their children. In Ginger, where the School Tree Project was launched, farmers have been waiting for the rain since November 2018. In order to tackle these issues, Ronald Kiwalabie, a 40-year-old environmentalist, launched the School's Tree Project in 2016. The objective is simple, to give children the resources to protect their environment and to save their own lives. Our role is not only to regreen the depleted environment, but empowering children to become environmental stewards in their own communities by teaching them the importance of tree planting in tackling climate change. We take the fight against climate change right to the schools. We educate children and teachers about the causes and consequences of the crisis and give them practical skills through tree planting and renewable energy schemes. In this school, we plant 20 young tree seedlings and 100 fruit tree seeds. We have so far planted trees in 60 schools within Ginger area. Please help us fight climate change. Help the children of Uganda fight climate change. Together we can make a difference. Now the time has come for the school's tree project to expand. Within the next two years, we want to target 500 new schools across central and eastern Uganda. This is vital if we want to affect real countrywide change. 